Good morning vlog! It is my fifth day in Japan! Wow! Today is Sunday and I'm getting kind of a late start to the day. Every day on this trip I've been like waking up super early, you know, every day is jam-packed with stuff. This is the first day where, first of all, I woke up at 10 o'clock which was nice. And second of all, I'm not just like out the door immediately. I've just been chilling. I've actually been doing a lot of work and stuff. As you know, we're in Vlogmas. You're watching Vlogmas right now. So there's a lot to do with that. And yeah, I've kind of just been catching up on some work that I needed to do, but I also am enjoying my strawberries from the supermarket. I just washed all of them. So I think I'm just gonna finish all of them right now because I don't want them to go bad before I leave. Mmm, that one was particularly good. But yeah, today I think will be a much more chill vlog. I'm still actually deciding what I'm gonna do. I was supposed to go eat Japanese barbecue, yakiniku, but I had work to do, so I kind of didn't do that. <laughs> so now I'm like, should I still go? Or should I maybe just go to 7-Eleven or like Lawson? Because there are some items at 7-Eleven and Lawson that I want to try that I haven't tried yet. So maybe I'll do that. We'll see where the day takes us. I'm just gonna enjoy my strawberries and we'll go from there. <laughs> okay, so yesterday we came to this mall and this mall is right next to the hotel I'm staying at and at the basement floor of this mall there is a supermarket and Michael was telling me there's really good sushi at that market. So yesterday me and TJ were here and we tried the sushi and we thought it was good but it wasn't like mind-blowingly amazing. Like it was definitely better than the supermarket sushi you can get in the US but it wasn't like amazing amazing. So then I told him oh we went to the sushi place but then he told us oh you went to the wrong place. So now I'm back and Michael's gonna meet up with me here and he's gonna show me where where the correct place is that he was talking about that has like really good sushi. They also have the Yakult 1000 that I was showing you guys. They have a lot here at the supermarket. I heard it's hard to find them at like 7-Eleven and stuff. So if you go to a life supermarket, definitely check if they have it. I'm gonna grab a few. So this is the whole life supermarket. But when we walk over this way, there's like a whole nother market area. I think maybe this is what he was talking about. Like the sushi place he was talking about is in this area. I don't know, he's meeting me here to tell me exactly where it is. But it's so cool, they have like so much stuff here. They have like bakeries, they have drinks. They have like another market even where you can buy snacks. And this is like kind of like a food court basically. They have lots of places selling bento boxes. And yeah, I'm thinking it's one of these stalls that he's saying has the good sushi, but I'm not completely sure. Wow. Dude, this looks way better than the one we had yesterday. Yeah. All right, so I ended up getting this set from the supermarket. Then Michael said this one is his favorite and it has uni, ikura, scallop, shrimp. There's the different times of tuna, fatty tuna, right? And then medium and then maybe just normal. And then those two, I don't know, but I'll eat them. <laughs> sea bream. Sea bream. Yellowtail. Yellowtail, okay. And then I also saw this. It's a natto sushi roll, which I have never had it in a sushi roll form. The only time I've ever had natto was in Japan. I did a vending machine video on my main channel. This was like hella years ago. And let me just say, it was not a good experience, but I did not eat it properly. Like this was before TikTok, and so I didn't know how to eat it. So I am curious to try it in this sushi roll, see if it's better than what I remember. And then there was also a bakery next door. I mean, it's all in the same like little market area. And Michael told me that I have to try their melon pan. And then I could not resist and I got a few other things. I got this thing because I've never tried this before. Canela. Canela. And then I saw this cube. I literally don't know anything if it's sweet or savory or anything, but it was a cube, so. All that. <laughs> I was intrigued by the shape. That's it. <laughs> All right, update. I finished filming for the main channel. I did try the natto. It was natto good. It was a no go for me still. I'm sorry <laughs> to anyone who likes natto. I really wanted to like it. I really, really did, but it's just not for me. But I will enjoy the rest of my sushi. <laughs> Yum. Hello vlog, we are now at dinner. We're eating at the single stall Yakiniku place. So cool. 
So usually you can have like a divider here if you're by yourself. But since oh, oh, oh my meat, oh my meat. Oh my goodness. Okay, sorry to worry you. My meat is fine. Almost burned it, but we're good. I'm filming main channel video, that's why. But anyway, you can have these dividers up if you're like, you know, only eating for one person. Well, obviously, since we're two people, they took the divider out. But yeah, it's a really cool, really fun experience. Definitely would recommend. And they're playing some jams in here, so I've been jamming out. We're going to play claw machine games. Too bad TJ's not here. <laughs> oh my God. Baymax, ah, oh my God. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. No, 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 no. Can I drag it over? Oh my God, he's sitting up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're so good at it! I can't believe you won! Oh my god! Wow! That's so cool! Oh my goodness! Winnie the Pooh? Sleeping on a cloud? Whoa! Oh my god, it was so close. Wow, a standalone 7 Eleven. This is like the 7 Elevens in America. Oh wow, they're wiped out. Hello vlog, I am back at my hotel room. I actually just finished filming some 7-Eleven and Lawson food for the main channel. I picked up a few things on our way back from dinner. <laughs> so I guess I had like second dinner or a post dinner snack, I guess a very large post dinner snack. But yeah, now I am importing all my clips. You guys know every single night I'm importing clips. I'm like doing admin stuff and organizing and all that stuff, trying to make sure we are on track for Vlogmas every other day. I don't even know how people do it every single day. Like even every other day, I'm like, wow, this is a lot. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It was really nice actually. Today was a more chill day for me, but I am getting sad because my time in Japan is coming to an end soon. I mean, technically today was Sunday and I fly out Thursday morning. So I technically have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to Disney. So I only have like one real last day in Tokyo because those other two days are in Disney. So I won't be able to like explore Tokyo or like eat around Tokyo. But of course, I'm super excited about the Disney. <laughs> like literally a dream come true. Literally cannot wait. And yeah, after that, I'm gonna fly back to Taiwan and I'm gonna be there for a few days and then Bird's gonna fly in, which I'm so excited about. I haven't seen him all this trip and we are literally always together. Like we are attached at the hip and while traveling i have been like calling him here and there but like you know it's nothing like being together and even still when i call him it's like there's a time difference so there's only certain hours where i can call him we kind of talk like every other day ish but yeah it'd just be nice for bird to be here and we can like be back in taiwan together because the last time we were there together was like five years ago he has like a super sentimental attachment to taiwan as well so yeah i just can't wait for that can't wait for tokyo disney but i'm sad that tomorrow's my last like full day in tokyo Tokyo. But regardless, it has been amazing here. I forgot how much I loved Japan. I mean, I already knew I loved Japan, but I don't know. It just kept shocking me more and more how much I loved it. So yeah, I'm gonna finish uploading my clips, gonna shower, do my home night routine, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning vlog! It is my last full day in Tokyo. I need to hurry this intro up because I woke up at 8 o'clock because I thought we would have to meet downstairs at 9 but then I woke up and immediately Michael texted me that we actually have to leave at 8.30 because it's gonna take us longer to get to the place that we need to go than we originally thought so I'm rushing. I quickly got ready. Actually, I got ready in like 10 minutes which is literally a record for me so anyway, I'm gonna run downstairs and we're gonna go. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my gosh, you guys. The Kotaro cream puffs was everything I dreamed of and more. I also bought some cookies to bring back home for gifts. But yeah, I just can't get over that experience. It was literally everything I dreamed of and more. It was so cute. I was taking so many photos and videos of the cream puffs. This is gonna sound so dramatic, but my eyes were like welling up because I was so happy. Like the serotonin that I got from those cream puffs. Wow. Okay, anyway, now we are going to go eat some lunch. The station that we're at for the Totoro cream puffs, it's actually like in the suburbs, so it's much more peaceful and quiet. And I heard some birds chirping. I was like to Michael, I was like, wow, it's so peaceful. You hear the birds chirping? And he was like, that's added effect. And he was saying it's so that people who are blind can hear which way the exit is, which is so cool. Like I love the accessibility. Oh my gosh, look. They have these slots to hold your umbrellas. That's so cool. We accidentally stumbled across the art museum and admission is free. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. this bird <laughs> okay anyway hello vlog we are now about to walk over to oh no not walk over we're walking to the subway station and we're gonna subway to shibuya michael says that there's a ghibli store there that's not just ghibli merch but they have like t-shirts and stuff like that so we're gonna go check that out and then we magically snagged a reservation for this place that's really 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 hard to get a reservation to so we're gonna go to that for dinner that's also in shibuya so yeah should be a fun night Let's go! <laughs> Vlog. I am back in my hotel now. We just got back from dinner, which was really really good. That place is very very interesting Like it's kind of hard to find because there's no like real big sign or anything There's a tiny 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 sign outside and you go up some stairs and then you turn into a building and you go up into these really narrow stairs and then there's like a door that literally looks like it could just be someone's apartment and you go in there and then it looks like a real restaurant so it's very interesting and that place is really hard to get reservations like i feel so so lucky that michael happened to check when he did and there was an opening because i tried to get reservations which they release it on every friday for the coming week at 9 a.m and i was sitting there trying to get reservation reservation and i couldn't get one <laughs> So we got super lucky that he just checked and there was one. So if you want to eat there, definitely don't give up and just keep checking. Hopefully someone will cancel their reservation and then you can just snatch it up. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good. I've never had hamburger patties that 
were so juicy and tender and succulent. Like, I don't know how they made it so good, but it was really good. And what I liked too is that they had so many different sauces and seasonings. So I loved to keep alternating flavors. Like one bite, I would have garlic with it. Another bite, I would have lemon pepper salt with it. And then another bite, I would have their green chili sauce with it. Another bite, I would have their ponzu sauce with it. So it was like flavor after flavor after flavor, as Guy Fieri would say. Flavor Town. <laughs> but yeah, oh, also I forgot to mention that yes, we went to that Ghibli store that doesn't sell just like normal Ghibli merch. They have like some very unique items that are Ghibli themed. So I picked up this pouch and I also picked up this pouch. And then on the way back home, we went to 7-Eleven to get, you guessed it, more mints. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm doing my night routine, uploading my clips, doing admin work, and I have to pack for Disney because tomorrow I'm going to Disney. I'm staying one night at a hotel there, so I have to pack like an overnight bag, but I have to pack all my equipment. I have to pack all my like stuff to get ready and some clothes as well. But then I also want to leave some luggage space because I'm going to buy some stuff there for sure. <laughs> so yeah, I have to wake up early, take the subway there, and Right now I'm actually planning my itinerary for Disney, like what rides I want to go on, what foods I want to eat. And I am kind of intimidated or like I'm nervous because whenever I do the Disneyland videos at home in California, I've been there a million times. So I know the park like in and out. I know where all the food is. I know what all the rides are and I know what to expect. But this is a brand new experience for me. So I am kind of nervous about that. Hopefully I can plan it so that I can ride everything I want to ride, eat everything I want to eat. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here and I figured why not throw in a giveaway if you guys haven't been keeping up with the vlogmas vlogs i am sprinkling in some giveaways here and there you'll never know when to expect them but i am giving away these uniqlo embroidered bags that you can only get embroidered in japan and there's like a whole week to two week waiting period on the embroidery so yeah i'm giving a few away to you guys during vlogmas and i'm also throwing in the mints that I love so that you guys can try it because I've just been raving about these. So to enter the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Then give this video a thumbs up. And the giveaway question of the day is, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? So comment that down below as your giveaway entry. And don't forget, if someone replies to you, make sure to check that it's my real profile. It has a check mark, you click it and it has all my videos there because I don't want you guys to get scammed, okay? No scams, we don't want scams. <laughs> But yeah, good luck on the giveaway, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!